Hey Dreamers, this is Jade and I'm back to do my March journal flip. Um, and so for the intro page, I just drew out this cute little elephant. Excuse me, and it seems like I'm having a theme of animals as far as the intro pages for this year. So yeah. Um, so jumping right in on the first day, just a lot of mundane things going on that I was excited about. I had ordered some things from scrap scrapbook.com that finally came in. Um... I have been studying, self-studying the tarot, and this day I was um, intuitively um, learning about the Empress as well as looking into the guidebook that I ordered um, as well. And I really love that because it's written by a woman I greatly admire and I trust her astrological uh, tarot all of that kind of stuff um and so yeah i'm really enjoying that guidebook and really enjoying trying to intuitively figure out what these cards mean first before i jump right into the guidebook um so yeah that was fun so that was that's the card that i was working on that day and finally i uh, purchased final cut pro now, um, back in the day when I was in college, I actually majored in communications, um, which was like a lot of film production, all that kind of stuff. And the program that we used to edit our movies and clips and all of that kind of stuff was Final Cut Pro. Um, and of course, over the years doing these videos, I've used so many different editing programs. But to me, there was nothing, nothing like Final Cut Pro. So I was so excited to finally um, get that and purchase that and... Um, relearning that now so yeah that's pretty much what was going on on march 1st march 2nd um i just kind of had an observation about something i've been watching 90 day singles um i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with like the 90 day fiance shows and all that kind of stuff well there's like a million spinoffs and this one it was 90 day singles and there was this woman her name was danielle um, and she just kept saying how she needed closure, she needed closure, and she needed to talk to her ex-husband, because he had said some really hateful things to her, and da da da, -da. and it just kind of came to me that I feel like closure is kind of a myth, like, because nine times out of ten with people, even if you get an apology from, first of all, you're expecting the person who hurt you to heal you, and that's kind of an unrealistic expectation. You have to heal yourself. I feel like that's an inside job, number one. And number two, even if they do offer up an apology, nine times out of ten, I notice that it's never good enough. It's never good enough for the person who wants the apology. And it's and so to me, that begs the question, what is it that you really want? And I feel like the whole closure thing is a way of keeping your foot in the door with that person like you're not truly ready to completely let that person go so you feel like you need closure anyway that is just kind of my observation so i just did this very very simple put a little watercolor down some little butterflies and made a note of my thoughts on the back of this card here and stuck it in here so yeah i mean i could elaborate more but i think you guys pretty much get the gist of where i'm going with that like you i just i don't know i just feel like you can't expect the person who um you know tore you down to be the one to build you back up you have to do that you have to build yourself back up and understand and know that you are deserving you're worth it you're everything you're here you're living you're you're god's creation like you, you got to find your own self-worth. So that was pretty much my observation for March 2nd. Um, this day, it was the 9th. I had to go out for some reason or other. And I had quite a nice surprise, you guys. And it's so simple and, and funny. But I had been eyeing these Rugrats pajamas in Walmart for like a month or two or whatever. I had seen them and they were not at a price that I wanted to pay for them. I was like, ah, whatever. And I happened to have to go to Walmart that day for whatever reason and uh, check that section and they were on clearance. So I was I managed to get a pair of them on clearance and I just freaking love Rugrats. I mean, that was my show when I was a kid. Chucky was my absolute favorite. Like, love Chucky. So yeah, that was pretty much the gist of this day. I mean, there was some other things going on, but that was just a pleasant 
cool surprise that I was able to pick up something I had been wanting for like a month or two at a, a decent price. So, And it just, you know, makes you want to play. Okay, so the next day or the 15th, I had plans to hook up with my cousin. We, she wanted to discuss some things with me. Um, first, I needed to go to Michael's to pick up a few things. It was the lowest prices of the season sale. I, so I went there, grabbed my stuff, came home, dropped off my stuff, used the bathroom, and then I headed to her place. And of course, you know, we plan on getting together for like an hour or two just because we, yeah, with things with me and her just snowball. We had been, we've been very close since we were young. Um, so I was there for hours. Um, and eventually you know we kind of got onto like spiritual things and stuff like that and i feel like that i've discussed my dreams with you guys like so many times i have super vivid crazy dreams all the time nine times out of ten i can remember what i dreamed about my mom gets the dreams um and i have a sneaking suspicion even though i could never like confirm this um i have a sneaking suspicion that my great grandmother also got them um i wonder if there's anybody in the family that would know I don't know, I have to, I'll have to ask around. But, um, and I found out that her son gets them as well. Unfortunately, he is getting more nightmares, which um, I dealt with kind of the nightmare thing when I was a very young child. I used to get them as well. Um, so, thankfully, that's not my story anymore. So, when I got home, I happened to be in the shower and just kind of information was coming to me to um, give to him to try to help him eliminate most of the nightmares, um, things that he could do, um, like meditate and other stuff or whatever. But yeah, I just, I don't know, it was very interesting to find out that he gets them as well. So like I said, I think it's, I, I truly think it's, it's a hereditary thing that it, it's something that runs in the family and, and, and we all probably get the prophetic dreams as well. I know I do sometimes. I know my mom does, and I think that's why she might be scared of her dreams. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a very interesting thing. I would love to explore that more um, and ask around with some of the people in my family. So, anyway, on the 21st, um, this is kind of a chill night. I had started watching Zack Snyder's Justice League the day before. That movie was four hours long. Um, so I had to break it up. Um, so I watched the rest of it on this night. Um, and I actually really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people, um, I'm not the biggest, like, DC, I don't know. Let me not get into all of that. I'm gonna just say that a lot of people had, a, talked a lot of crap about the first Justice League. And I actually ended up watching that before this. Had I known this was coming out, I would wait it and just watch this. Um, but I just, I was like, it's pretty good it's not a bad movie like people i don't know are like super critical now i think it wasn't a terrible movie but then may maybe then it, i don't like read the comics or anything so maybe it was comic i don't know anyway and i really like this one just because they delved deeper into everybody's story and you got more of an origin story for cyborg cyborg i think his name is um and yeah and the only thing with this picture i'm like um we, we we're not gonna put arthur in the corner here like that that's aquaman like he should be front and center he's so beautiful anyway moving on uh later that night i was continuing with my binge re-binge i should say of vikings and this was the episode where ragnar spoiler alert if you have not watched vikings and you plan on watching it and you don't want to be spoiled then mute it at this time and uh yes or skip past it whatever anyway this is the episode when ragnar passes away he he died well he's killed basically um and he had been ha kind of having this crisis of faith about his gods and all of that kind of stuff and on his way to his execution he said this and i was like oh my god yes i love this quote and he just said the gods and i put it here i like the way this came out really anyway the gods are man's creation to give answers that they are too afraid to give themselves and i was like yes standing ovation ragnar or whatever so had to write that down i think in my commonplace book i'm going to have a space for my favorite vikings quotes because there were so many 
There's so many good ones. So many good ones in there. Anyway, so yeah. Um, but what I appreciated about Ragnar is he was very flawed. Very flawed individual Ragnar is. However, my man, he went out there and lived his dreams, man. Like he he wanted to search beyond his little area and he went out there and did it he was the pioneer for it and his name in the viking world is legendary so yeah i was i love i love ragnar anywho moving on on the 27th of march let me tell y'all about this boondoggle okay Y'all know I love Animal Crossing, right? Well, anyway, they were coming out with these new Amiibo cards um, for the Sanrio characters. They had been introduced back in New Leaf. However, they hadn't been added to the Switch version of Animal Crossing yet. So, they decided to release the packs of Amiibo cards um, for all of the Sanrio they would come in a pack for $5.99. They were only available at Target on the 27th or whatever. Now, I had already planned. I was like, oh, okay. I had planned on being up early at the store waiting for it to open so I could get my. And they were supposed to limit every customer to two packs. So, we wouldn't have like this the crazy where people like to buy up a whole lot of packs and then sell them for like hundreds of dollars online for a $5.99 pack of cards. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to get up, go early, and I'll just get my two packs of cards because I wanted to get a pack for myself and a pack for my nephew to put in his Easter basket, okay? Well, then Target comes out with their ad saying they're going to be available on Friday, but only if you purchase it for pickup. You have to purchase it for pickup and, again, limit two customers. So I said, okay, y'all, I should have followed my gut. I should have just went to the store the way target fumbled this whole release i mean people were hot i was hot got on was up early had them in my cart could not check out many people could not check out the basically it crashed nobody knew the the thing crashed so then people started going to the store the stores nobody was informed in the store what was supposed to be going on so the stores were just selling them to people like that not knowing they were only supposed to be buy online pickup so they were selling them from the stores and selling way more than two packs to people so people were going in there buying like 70 packs so if you you can check now like ebay and amazon people have these packs up for like hundreds of bucks 60 dollars, 70 like ridiculous amounts of prices i was so y'all i was so mad eventually i got up and dressed and went to my target and i had just missed the last pack um but if i had just followed my instincts i would have been able to get them but but even when i lose I went. I'm going to tell you what I did. I was so aggravated and pissed off and upset with the way that Target fumbled this. Like, Target, you really you really ought to be ashamed of yourself for this. Especially, you know, these ACNH fans, they are crazy about their ACNH stuff. Like, seriously? Anyway. So, what I did was, there's a way you can make your own Amiibos, okay? Um, usually on your phone or a tablet or something. Um, depending on if you have Android or iPhone, you need a specific, um, app to do it. And you need, like, NPC cards. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Or coins. NPC cards or coins. It doesn't matter. And you can make your own Amiibos. So, I was like, I was so mad that I just got online, figured out how to make them myself, and ordered the necessary materials to be able to make them myself okay so um i ended up making myself a, a pack of them i made my nephew a pack for his easter basket and i actually have an extra pack i was going to give away in one of my facebook groups and i never did um so if there's any acnh fans out there that need a pack of the sanrio amiibo cards i have one here i will give it to you free if you live in the u.s First come, first serve. Just let me know in the comments if you want it. And then I will tell you or you can, um, I'll tell you if you're the one that I picked. Like I said, first come, first serve. And I will, um, and then you can email me your address and I will send it right along, okay? Because nobody should be paying over to me 
nobody should be paying a ridiculous amount of money for these like people make me sick sometimes so yeah anyway i'm gonna stop ranting but yeah that's pretty much what happened this day and it, it whoo you see the uh yeah that's how i was feeling all day. and now we have my march faves um so i ended up watching wandavision this month um with the disney plus shows i like to watch till every episode i'd like to wait until every episode airs and then i can just binge it all at once or in a couple sittings so that's what i did with wandavision thankfully the episodes also were only 30 minutes so it was very quick to get through um the first few episodes i was like where, where are they going with this and then it just it just gets better and better so keep watching it um actually really enjoyed wandavision so yeah i'm, I'm curious to see um if they make a new season and if they do where it'll go from here and then also coming to america 2 dropped this month so cute um there was a lot of critics saying it wasn't good that i thought it was funny um you people have to understand this is like over what probably over 20 years later that we're getting this movie it's not going to be the same okay th th then if they had just picked up where they left off um but to me it was just like the nostalgia of the film and getting to see all of your favorites kind of come back and stuff it was just oh, it was such a good time it was so fun um i was not like watching it for no like what do you call it? movie critic purposes or re something ridiculous like that anyway uh i also watched this documentary called murder among the mormons you guys that was so interesting um and then to find out in the end what was actually going down so interesting so interesting so yeah i would if you looking for a documentary crime story i would definitely check out murder among the mormons um so yeah my watch list coming to america i watched jungle land that is a movie with my boy charlie hunnam i mean he plays the brother to this boxer and they get themselves into some just ridiculousness um I watched that movie I care a lot and when I tell you guys I was in a rage the entire movie I, I was like are they is this a serious no and now, it was a pretty good film but I the people infuriated me infuriated me okay um of course WandaVision I watched season two of a discovery of witches I didn't go for it I really loved it was, I really really loved season one but season two was not good it was not good for me murder among the mormons justice league and i watched this show called the one that one was pretty interesting and i hope they do a second season because i have questions okay i have questions now as far as music what i had on repeat um I was listening to The Weeknd, Earned It. You guys know that song, because you earned Yeah, I don't sing. Earned It. Um, and I love, of course, the very beginning. You make it look like it's magic, because I see nobody. Nobody but you, you, you. Okay. Yes. Love that song. Had it basically on repeat. And one of my favorite old school songs, I'd Die Without You by PM Dawn. That song is so incredibly beautiful and a while ago i think brand brandy and her brother on her full full moon album if i'm not mistaken um remade it um, one of my friends is like i can't believe they remade this song it's so classic blah, blah, blah. and i was like i agree with that but i actually really like um brandy and ray j's version as well of course nothing will beat the original for me by pm dawn but their version was nice i mean it was the same lyrics nothing really changed just kind of the way they sang it but um and my favorite lyrics in the song is is it my turn to wish you would lie here now this one i tend to dream you when i'm not sleeping oh love love those lyrics anywho i'm a lyrics person like i like beats but i'm i'm more of a i'm more paying attention to lyrics than i am beats so anyway and of course get my animal crossing in read my books i can't remember exactly what book i was reading in march but rest assured you know i was reading a book or two so yeah and they just bring me joy so i just put the sticker here called delight and that is pretty much my march if you have any comments or questions about anything then definitely leave this below um if somebody like i said first come first serve if somebody in the u.s wants these um what do you call these these sanrio amiibo things that i made um 
then let me know in the comments and we'll get together and i will make sure i send these out to you and that is pretty much it guys i hope everyone is safe and well if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumb up and i'll catch you in the next one bye